All right, we have discovered three possible locations for the ghost. And we have assembled our ghost busting team. Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah, look at that nod. That is an intense nod. Look at that. Tell him, B. She's so into it. There were some news clippers, that, clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, little Joe. Why does why is she nodding so much? She's nodding so much it makes me have to nod. I don't really remember little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of this ghost, like filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Look at her face. This is that's what terror that, that this is what true terror looks like. Okay. So it mentioned three places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you talking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. Uh, of course the goth would call the graveyard. Profiling! It's close. <laughs> it's not illegal. Valid. Is there an illegal one? <laughs> Greg is so good. <laughs> Poor Angus. I feel so sorry for Angus. Sure is. The historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. Look at Greg's face! He's so into it. The people there get paid to show it to you. <laughs> Greg is no longer interested. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. His ears. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is going to be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. The sudden time change. I saw that. <laughs> I see your lies game. Selmer's good poet thought if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. Mysterious Tooth. Snack. Yeah, nothing else too new. What's up, Dad? Ugg. Yep, seems like that goes, that's going around. The erg. Yepers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday? Yep. Thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We are. Just a bump. You two, always alike, I guess. I got your chill and her smart assness. Tate to see you two on the outs again. I'll be fine. We're cool. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been along a couple days. Where does mom go? What was that sound? Oh, there's the blue canary in the light switch. Or in the in the fuck. Screw that up. I love to just put the cloak on the bird thing and it thinks it's night. I wish that worked for me. I would love to just be able to like drape a little thing over my face and like my brain is like, oh, must be time to go to sleep. Yeah, because I, I, it takes me a while to do the sleep thing. I, it used to be really bad. I used to like stay up until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. It still takes me about half hour to an hour to fall asleep properly but uh... it's no longer disastrous having a job has helped with that hey let me know when you want to go to the cemetery i should be around most nights so it's awake okay thanks b don't thank me too hard i'm going there anyway it's just like right down the road you're ruining this oh in that case you're so incredibly welcome and you also better not forget this big favor that's more like it falling asleep had fun tonight Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. Yeah, I looked at the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying it's a ghost, but old stuff that just gets torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and someone puts it in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. It seems like a poor time to go to bed. Why is he a meteor? Like, wh why is... 
Why is Angus just a meteor? Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's just pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, we never actually get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Good night, sir. Tips hat. Milady. Oh no, I hope Angus doesn't go to Reddit. Yeah, it is, it is sleep time. Well, I think we're going to do the Angus one first because we don't get. Oh, this again, huh? We. Oh, I saw the ghosts. Dead people? Whoa, ghost fish. Holy crap. Why is there ghost fish? That's intense. There's ghost fish now. Dang. Ghost fish. Ugh. I like the dream sequences, but, but why is it just find the three dudes? It gets a little old. I like the the ones that are different though, like the one where I had to like hit stuff with a bat, the very first one. And then like the last one after the thing. I do like the the people floating around and stuff, and like the, the ghost fish are very good. I mean the music's not bad, but like I don't know. It's like the game mixes things up all the time otherwise. Like, um, you know, like the little mini games. Is that you, Greg? That, that ghost, that one of those forms looks just like the dude that got kidnapped Renoed. Rest in pieces, my friend. This accordion guy is putting in work. I'm not one for accordions, but he is serious about this. No half-assed accordionisms here. There's Mr. Saxophone. Mr. Balloons. Mr. Balloon Hands. Oh, there's the dead bodies. Alright, where's the, uh... What even was the last one? It's been a while since we had one of these, actually. So it's been a very long couple days in terms of in-game days. All oh, right, it's the tiny violin. <laughs> if I had dreams like this, I would definitely write them down, and I, I would freak out a bit. I tend to write down my nightmares just in case I make like a cool horror game or something. Because in my opinion, that's some of the best material for things like that. But my brain makes up some pretty screwed up horror stuff. One thing I hate about when I have nightmares, when I go back to bed after a nightmare, I will always go straight back into that nightmare. Like, almost every freaking time. Like, it's not even worth trying. Um, good dream that I wake up and, like, because Parker's being loud or something. Um... Those never come back. Like, I'll, I'll be aware of what dream I was having, and I'll be thinking about that dream as I go back to sleep and, like, you know, try to force it to happen again. Never happens. Never happens. I can't really do the lucid dream thing. Like, sometimes I'll know that I'm dreaming, like, especially horror-wise stuff. Like, I'll, I can deliberately wake up, at least. Um, but... I, I guess it's... Oh! Oh, no! It's the thing for Pikmin! Run! It's a freaking burrowing snaggerit! Oh, and no, now it's the phoenix from Patapon. The burrowing snaggerit has evolved. And crossed console boundaries. Oh man, I'm so excited for PS4, Patapon, and Loco Roco. They should have done that a long time ago, but... I'm so glad that, like, it seems like, like the... I'm sad about the Vita, but, like... I mean, it had a pretty good run in, in terms of games that I liked, but but it's kind of nice to have all the PlayStation stuff on one console and, like, all of that focus on one thing, which is kind of why I'm interested in the Switch, or excited about, rather, sort of excited. 
I didn't pre-order it. Well, I did pre-order it, but I canceled the pre-order. And by the time you're watching this video, I will probably know whether I should have kept that or not. But I don't think so. I think I'll get it this week, or this, not this week, um, this holiday with like a bundle. Because I don't want to pay like 400 plus dollars to like play two games. Because like, you know, each game is like 60 bucks. Um, I would want Zelda, Bomberman, um... I think there's others. Um, then eventually Mario Galaxy. I would want a pro controller, but those are 70 bucks! Like, sheesh! Um, but yeah, it's... It's pricey, and I just... I would get more bang on my buck by playing, so, or getting some, like, PS4 or PC games right now. Away message! Planets are meant to be pitied, and they cannot know how big or cool they are. Dr. Blah blah blah. Astronomy Society, okay. Rising sea levels would increase shark attack for instance, see, for obvious reasons. I'm, I'm not sure how that's how that works. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth is horrible this morning. Like a tire. I'll be work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Okay. I hate when that happens. It just tastes like you freaking woke up with a burp that just, like, did not burp out. It's just stayed there. Like, what's up with that? What's up, bird? Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. It's okay. Bird loves you. Bird knows your feelings. Alright. Let's... I guess let's go straight to uh, Angus. Is that like a person name? Like, that's a kind of steak. It's weird. What's up, Selmers? Hold on. I need to see if if Mr. Man, Mr. Face Man is there. Nah, he's not. I don't want to miss any constellations. This game's progression stuff is, is interesting. It, it feels... Like, there's, there's missable stuff, but it kind of just makes it feel kind of, you know, like a real thing. Because that's just kind of how life is, I guess. But I guess you don't miss anything crazy major. Oh, she had her baby! Or wait, no. She has two babies. Huh. Uh, no. Wait, let's see if anything moved into the possibilities. He's got a snack falcon cup. Oh man, I really want one of those blue slurpy things. Give it. So I said I could like take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yes. Er, yes. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah! We never get to hang out! Yeah, I guess, huh? I've been hanging out with Greg so much. It'll be nice to actually get to know you a bit a little bit better. I'm pretty great. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy that you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? Ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast. About ghosts. <laughs> This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. May I take your order? I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. I was trying to do the Batman thing. Didn't really work out. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, dang. It's like the sun is, like, glowing. I love the use of colors in certain segments of this game, like nighttime and stuff. My mom used to be up... Used to take us up here to play Frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with Frisbee once. Full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the Frisbee. I don't think a Frisbee would hurt that much. Like, 
It's, you know, it's plastic. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. Seems to be some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up there. It's all kind of weird stuff up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Put my old scout camp in the way, I think. Busy woods. Okay, I better get it going before it gets dark. Oh man, I miss going to the woods. We have this really cool island that like you're not allowed to like build stuff there. This is like just a little wildlife thing. But something happened to the bridge to it, and we can't use the bridge. And like, I don't think it's like accessible, or if it is, it's like walking only. Um, I always wanted to walk there, but the bridge project is like delayed and delayed again. It's like it just sucks. I always thought islands were really cool. I don't know, just something about being surrounded by water, but having you know land and stuff, I don't know. It's cool. I always wanted to live in an island and, um, just go back for Angus. Need to get back to me. Um, in, um, in Animal Crossing, I always wanted to live on, like, an island with a little bridge. And you can finally do that. I mean, not you, you yourself, but in, um, I can't believe I have to wait for Angus. It's an escort quest. Why are you so slow? Angus, please. Puff, puff. Um, but yeah, in Happy Home Designer, you can finally make houses on a little island and, like, customize exactly where the houses go. You don't get to live in them, you just get to design them, but it's still really cool. I really love the interior design aspect of, of Animal Crossing, so that I really enjoyed that game. It's a shame I could never do videos of it, because, you know, 3DS. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Oh. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Does she run across country in junior high? Do you have an inhaler? Oops. Yeah, I say that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think? Lime kiln? Limestone. Oh. You like do something in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons and sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this is all underwater or something at this point. Whoa. No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Yeah, my rocks don't lie, baby. Like right here where we were standing, there were like ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay. I feel less annoyed with Angus now that I know he has asthma in terms of waiting for him. Oh, what's going on? Hello. Puff, puff. Phew. You need to take a break? I'm okay. No problem. Puff, puff. So this place was underwater. Why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. There are definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because these are so boring nowadays. I think crazy stuff was always going on around here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Imagine having a friend that's this much of a spaz. You okay? Yeah, sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Go hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime, stone. I was going to take a class on dinosaurs back at school. I knew so much about dinosaurs as a little kid. Um, this guy, I was in, like, a Target or something, like, checking out, like, dinosaur toys. And, like, this guy was like, oh, that's really cool. Is that, like, is that a, is that a brontosaurus? I'm like, no, it's a diplodocus. And it was a diplodocus. Fuck that guy. I knew my shit. He didn't. How dare he? You can't just freaking. He was stupid. <laughs> I had all of these books. I hope we still have them somewhere. But, like, there's all these cool books that would detail all of the dinosaurs. Um, they had, like, these solid color... Um, like, the cover was, like, a solid color. And then be, like, a picture of the dinosaur. And, like, it would just tell you about each one of those dinosaurs. And they had, like, one for... Like, I must have had a couple dozen of those. Like, there's all kinds of different ones. I had a bunch of those. I had Richard Scary's Busy Town. I really liked dinosaurs... And, uh, I guess lots of kids do. 
But yeah, I didn't I didn't really do too much of the space. I had I want I wanted the dinosaurs. Which is weird because there's not really too many dinosaurs in video games. You would think there would be more dinosaurs. We're finally getting Horizon Zero Dawn, which by the time you're watching this, I'm sure I've played and possibly beaten. Which is the weird thing about knowing in advance that you're gonna like this video is gonna be seen like like two weeks from now. Just weird. Anyway. Um, I'm so glad for that, because I mean robot dinosaurs, honestly. That class fills up, I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things are so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures sure would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost at the top. Cheat, are you ready to roll? Oh, dang. It be late. Aw, oh, dang, it's gonna get spooky! Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. Past, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. It's spooky. Oh, graves, huh? Yeah, these were, I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Wasn't it like Miners vs. National Guard happened back a hundred years ago? Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. There's a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here, too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, hey, just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Spooky. Are you guys ready for the spooks? You better be. Because there's going to be spooks. I hope there's going to be spooks. Geronimo! Can't jump off the cliff. Is this all there is? Just going to have a little sit. Wow. We're up really high. They're really far out. I can't see the town from here. It's south of us, below whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here to see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Valid plan. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and stars and stuff. I wish. I can never remember it other than... Oh, they have apps where you can, like... You hold up your phone to the sky and it'll show you, like, okay, that's, you know... The thing that you're probably seeing there is, you know, Pisces or whatever the hell. You know, that's the Big Dipper. I mean, you should probably recognize the Big Dipper. But, you know, you can see stuff. I forget what it was called, but, like... I even had that way on like Android Donut. Like that was that was a really old app. I'm sure it's even better now. Do you think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all in the longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together? You told us all about them? That's not a thing that happens. <laughs> that's um That's one of the mini games they released. I guess it's not canon. Oh well, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellation stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, it's gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chaskov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. I guess they integrated the minigame into the real game? Assuming this is the same thing. I totally saw some stars through it. That was cool. Telescopes are cool. I wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ghost hand. Boop. Yeah, that's definitely a constellation. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mr. Deadbird cat man. I don't know why I said, said bird. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. 
and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My grandparents used to tell me in this story. It's... Okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was there. He likes shiny things. He's pretty good at getting through the forest. He was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah. I used to call him Mr. Ass Cat when I was little. Mr. Ass Cat! Wait, well, he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But it was slick enough that he jumped out of his body. And he became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. That's the kind of decency I like. Extreme. Extremeness. What is this? Is this just the triangle? Oh yeah, the triangle. Everyone likes the. Is that? Oh, it's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Oh, that's. Uh, I know this one from a prog rock album cover. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space, asshole. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. There's no medium for which the sound to travel. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. True. Deep. Yeah, I think this is what Lost Constellation was. It's been a long time. What's this? What is this garbage? <laughs> no way. Never paid for no clocks ever again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep referencing the, the thing. It's a whale! It's got the world on its back. It's turtles all the way down. Oh, wow, that's sad. Yeah. Kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it was just always that way. Oof. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and, like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space! It's a space whale. I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Yeah, they were pretty stupid. I love my space hand. It's like I'm fingering space. The greatest fetish. It's Mr. Fire Breathe Mouth! It's a Pope! He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh yeah, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works at the church now. I haven't gone since I was 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. We're like way out here, huh? The park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. The stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. Like, people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, uh... I don't know how much I've ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Oh no. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Uh, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, uh... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad... He used to hit me a lot. My mom was probably worse. Like, she like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now, haha. <laughs> uh, she like, shoved me into the pantry. Slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all, that's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, uh, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I was like, started feeling guilty for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused. Angus, it's not your fault at all. You were a kid. 
Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I uh, still have to visit her sometimes. Let me tell you. You don't have to visit shit. If you're 18, if you, I mean, even if you're not, like, you don't have to stick with abusive people. If you, if your family never did anything good for you, fuck them. You, you're not obligated to do shit. Like, if you need to be away from those people, be away from those people. Leave. Like, you know, if you're under 18 or whatever, you know, it's harder, but, you know, I'm not, you know, super knowledgeable about this, but, you know, there's people you can call. There's, you know, you... Family is not magic. Family is not... If family, you know, good families, it can feel like magic, but there's nothing inherently good about a family. There's nothing... There's nothing about, you know, forming your biological material that means your parents get to do that shit to you. If you... Just... Just fuck them. I know some people with some really shitty parents, and I haven't had to be in this, that situation, fortunately. And I mean, maybe I would think differently if I were, but I hope I wouldn't, because you don't need to feel like you're somehow indebted to people who abused you or anything. Anyway, I... I'm not the best one to talk about this topic. I guess, you know, who even is, but... Well... I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. I guess I want to give you a hug forever. Same. Haha, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. So I gained a, joined a, science, a skeptic society on the internet. That kind of ruined me a lot of other supernatural bullshit. They gave me something to solve. Something to debunk or no. It's good to learn stuff. Learn things. As I read frickin' um... Oh hell. What was the book? I read The Butterfly Effect. There was another... There was a good book on... On fractals and stuff. I didn't necessarily understand all of it, but in in eighth grade, I was reading some pretty cool stuff and just read science, learn things that matter, learn about reality. Like, damn, there's so many people. They're so goddamn stupid out there. You don't have to be stupid. You can learn things. Like, don't like. There's all these morons out there shouting, "Oh my God, it's fake news!" And mer 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 mer. It's like they're they're screaming at reality. It's like read a fucking book. Like, you, 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 if you're watching this video, you have access to the internet. Even if you don't have access to a library, which you probably do, um, you can learn so much. Just, just learn things. Take a little bit of time, you know. You're watching me, you got time. Learn a little something, you know. Education, it, it'll help, it won't just help you, it'll help the people around you. It'll help you help other people. It's... it matters. Anyway, preachy episode, but it's important shit, alright? Also, very long episode. I, I should have probably ended it once it started to be nighttime. Too late now. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, they can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But, anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe anything at all? I don't know about that, man. Like, I could see wanting to believe. There's a few things in my life that made me want to believe. But, generally speaking, nah. Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I believe that the stars exist and the people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. We're like pattern finders. We'll find patterns. And we elect to put our hearts and minds into it, even if we don't mean to. 
So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people too do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people who don't don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they're having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. A few years later, Greg did. Aww. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. I don't know about that, bro. There's some shit people out there. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Don't look at him. Who? Someone standing behind us. <gasps> what the fuck?! In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Wearing some kind of weird coat. That's a mining lamp. I thought it was a firefighter thing. But no, that's like a mining... Like, one of those little headlamp things. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Son of a bitch, what are you doing? Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did, May. No. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Ah! Oh, shit. It's not doing anything. <laughs> well then. Yep. That light. Oh fuck! <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah. I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or some weirdo who lives out there. <laughs> His hat is going through the ceiling of the car. Or the roof, I guess. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does nobody believe me? May, it's like... Every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Yeah, that's that's definitely ghost shit. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Angus is psych. Angus is psycho, and his hat, but his hat blocks it. <laughs> Amazing. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> dead. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Whew. Jeez. I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job won't require much more than that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Well. That one was an eventful day. Whew. Well, uh, I guess let's check the instant messages. Anything new here? Rising skills, yeah. Hey B, you awake? I very much am. Er, I'm doing bells and eating grilled, grilled cheese, what's up? I went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? 
It was fun until it was scary. Oh, so we totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow. Okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoying, annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Sorry. For what it's worth, I do not not believe you. Thanks. Have a good time otherwise. Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life? Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. Here he is. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Teach a while. Hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Uh, did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? You, you don't hunt early, though. Like, that, I don't think that's legal. Like, you, you got a license, and you're only allowed to hunt for, you know, whatever thing. Like, it's... If you never hunted, like, it's pretty formal and stuff. Because you don't... But a lot of people don't realize, but, like, hunters are closer to the conservationists than you'd think. At least good ones. Most of them. Because, I mean, if you kill all of the deer, you're not going to have any more deer to kill, right? So... You know, sane hunters, they're going to know a lot more about that, and they're going to be more responsible than you might think. Oh, what the hell? Put them on. KK. Hey, mate, this is Angus. Oh, I read it just because it was orange. Yeah, dude, I saw it with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who's being weird. There are folks that live up here in the park. They're hunting camps and stuff. This is mostly being most like a guy hunting buck early. Dude, I like felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay. Thanks for hunting and being brave, going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Oops. Hey, hey, dude. I'm an artiste. Were you doing art just now? Sure was. All right. Off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, mate, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm... <laughs> I just realized it's Greg. Oh, hey, I'm Angus, and so I'm smart and have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. It looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, mate, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. Thanks, Greg. Or Angus. <laughs> well, that was a very eventful day. Like, kind of three episodes in one, but whatever. It's time for sleep. Merg. 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 Merg.